Vancouver's. It'll be on federal property pretty soon. Or actually, you know that, right? What was that guy? What was that guy? That, nice that, guy? that was Brent Soppy. Brent Soppy. Yeah. Got a website? Yeah, podspace.org. Podspace.org. That was a generous yeah, donation for the live streaming community. Uh, too often. <laughs> well, I know. Let's say last Monday. Uh, it's great to watch. I mean, it's good that people are finally coming out. I mean, he, you know, and now they have a reason, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the trouble. How's Dale Garinger for normal? The National right. Organization for the Reform of Marijuana right. Laws. And you can ac access his site C at CA Normal. Yeah, CA Normal. 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 All right, I know how to do it, dude, here. Whatever. Right, when you get your stream, you can be a commentator. <laughs> All right. Oh, you, you can listen. Yeah, I'm I just kidding, you wanted to come down here and yeah, I'm just much. kidding, dude. What? That's the nice thing about being on a live stream. We don't have to have that uh, news chatter banner. I can tell you to go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got to remember it's a family show, dude. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. sorry. you got to go creep yourself. Right, there you go. I'm not censoring, but, you know, little kids might be listening. That's right. A little bit of a mo modicum of decency, is that it? Yeah. Maybe this hill will shut you up. Hey, Dale, how you doing? Maybe this hill will shut you up. <laughs> right? He's Kathy Lee to my Regis. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that guy should have slowed down a little bit, man. Hey, take over the whole street. Let's get out there, dude. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Now we can make it a little safer for everybody, right? Now we got a much better. Yeah, but don't get too close to the cars. I'm like, just take the lane here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, you want to be out of the street. Yeah, I do, but not close to the cars. Okay. Right, they stick. I like that, but I'm with you. Right, they stick too. We're almost here at the... Here's NBC. Ugly federal building, right? It's really ugly. Uh, all the, all the uh, mainstream media's here. Of course. There's NBC right there. Someone else in the tower. Yeah, we got uh, yeah, They'll be here. They were already here. Who cares about MSM? Like yeah, we are the media, but... Uh, shorts on and the wind's blowing like crazy down here, right? You want to go home and change real quick? No, no. I'm going anywhere. That's a joke, buddy. Hey, yeah, I need, I need to get a bigger boot so I can put it up your ass. <laughs> well, that wasn't a There we go. There we go. All right, we're here. We're at Federal Express. Oh. The federal government, sorry about that. Okay, we're here to burn it down and smoke it like a joint. That's Which is federal. actually federal, unlike Federal Express. Yeah. Or the Federal Reserve. Right. Alright, let's, let's just stop here for a second. Hey, the cops turned their lights on. Yeah, right. Yeah. They probably show up. Yeah. Hold my camera for a second. Protest. Oh, oh, what an honor. You want to get in a little closer, or it's all the action oh, going down down there. No, we're just doing it. Temperature just dropped about 10 degrees between where we were at and started yeah. and where we are here. All right, that's San Francisco for you. I'm going to try to keep the camera pointed away from the wind. Hold on. 
Yeah, I was just thinking about getting a little strip and gluing it over top of it. Right. Because I got a bunch of these back, you know, these back. So I don't, you know, I'm, and I'm really not concerned, that concerned about what they look like. Hey, how's it going there, Mike? Pretty good. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, we're live streaming, broadcasting yeah. live on the internet right now. All right. Yeah, we're on that. We're gonna we're doing live stream for uh, Occupy San Francisco. Did you say so we're, we're live. Mirrored by Global Revolution. Yeah, we're on Global TV. We're all over the world. This is international now. From your cell phone. Oh, I know. It's great. I love it. Last time we had a major protest down here, I was able to shut down the DEA servers. So but that was back in 2001. 11 years ago, that's a long time. Time just goes by in the blink of an eye. We have the little wind tunnel, it is the federal building here. It's not a very fun place to be, to be honest. Although they do have a good cafeteria upstairs on the 11th floor, for those of you who didn't know that. And you're looking for a cheap place to eat. So they have good my sandwiches, which they're uh, Vietnamese. They're really great. Hello, how are you doing? Glad you made it today. Oh yeah. How you doing? Good. You're out on the live stream or Global Revolution TV. So. I don't want to get too close with the cigarettes, you know. Come on, the other side here. I didn't give myself now, no. Why don't you take a break for a second? Good. Take a break. Take a break. There we go. I can get her up. It's nice and flat here. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. This is a human being. Right? We should be around. Uh, plenty of props to him, baby. Because I'm a little pain in the butt. Right. What are you saying about me? I said you're pushing me around. I'm a big pain in the butt. Oh, yeah. You know? I know I am, right? You try being in a wheelchair and have somebody push you around and get along with them, right? Yeah, it's not easy. Not easy. Not yeah. easy at all. Fortunately, Clark is a paragon of virtue. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can you hear what's going on in your league? We're at the outside. Pardon me, pardon me. I just wanted to get close to the doors and the see what they were up to. This is actually worse. Oh, this thing out of here. Let's get close to Melinda. Yeah, she's the queen, bitch. She's like the board queen, right? There we go, the board queen of the federal government. No, I don't know. I think they closed at five. Yeah, we're close enough. There we go. Melinda Hay, queen bitch of anti-medical marijuana. Yeah, I can come up with a better name. Right? How come you didn't have her give the middle finger? <laughs> that would have been much better. Oh, is that Pelosi or George Washington? No, no, no. no. no Melinda Hay. Oh, it's a hag. Yeah, the hag. Or George Washington, I can't tell. Right. Clean bitch. <laughs> Yeah, we're at the entrance to the federal building here in San Francisco. Glad you could join us. Uh, we got Steve Stepshire. He's over here speaking at the moment. Try to get the camera a little bit. Please now be clear that federal building, the new medical cannabis dispensary of San Francisco. Yeah! Melinda, please do the honors. 
Ah, we have Supervisor David Campos here. He's going to be speaking. He's from District 9, I believe. Mission District, District 8. I'll get someone on live stream. Oops, sorry. It's okay. Let's go around here. Get a little better shot of David. All right. All right, Senator President Kennedy, it's my honor to introduce Supervisor David Campos, who has been one of our champions here in San Francisco. Thank you. Thank you, medical cannabis community. I'm so proud to be standing here with you. And we are here to send a very clear message to our federal government. Ultimately, you work for us. We are the taxpayers to make it so that you have a salary. And we want our taxpayer dollars to be used in a way that's consistent with the values of common decency, of human rights. And this is a human right. We're talking about patients, people who need medicine having access to medicine. We in San Francisco have been a model for how to run, how to uh, regulate an industry. And we have been successful and other jurisdictions have seen how we do it in San Francisco. There is no reason why this federal government should come here and interfere with the rights, not only of San Franciscans, but of Californians to decide for themselves what is legal. And the people of the state of California through Prop 15 made it very clear that we in California care about patients, that we care about giving patients a right to what they need, which is simply medication. So we are not going to that. We are not going to let the federal government interfere with the rights of people in our city. And I speak not only as an elected official, I speak as an openly gay man who knows the very important role that medical cannabis has played in the LGBT community. The fight, the fight for the right to access to medicine came out of the struggle for civil rights for LGBT people. Following the AIDS crisis, we had gay men and women who unified and pushed for Prop 215 because we know that we're talking about human life. And that's what this is about. And we are on the right side of history because history is on the side of civil rights. This fight is not over. We are not going anywhere. Our government has to be accountable to us. And we are telling them what they're doing is wrong. And lastly, I want to say to President Obama, you got elected four years ago with a promise. With a promise, a promise to our community that you would do the right thing. And if George Bush for eight years can go without infringing upon the rights of these patients, why is an Obama administration doing the complete opposite? We expect better, we deserve better, and if you want to get reelected, you better do the right thing for these patients. Thank you very much. Supervisor, just David Campos. Christina Alagi, she's our representative from District Secondly, 5. Secondly, it is also my honor to introduce Supervisor Christina, uh, Christina Alagi, who is also the Vice President of the Planning Commission and has been a long, long-time champion for medical cannabis patients here in San Francisco. I mean, for the last 12 years, at least. Everybody, can I hear a round of applause for yeah. Vice President yeah. Alagi? I'm really proud to stand in solidarity with all of you. Many of you I met at the Planning Commission when we sit there for hours and hours in the chamber advocating for the for the uh, permitting of a lot of these uh, clubs, um, these medical cannabis dispensaries. Uh, two of them were Hope Net and um, also uh, the Vapor Room. And, we, and long live Hope Net and the Vapor Room. <laughs> We have to make sure that despite all of this, we can find a way to make sure that the Vapor Room and HopeNet can continue to serve the medical cannabis community. I don't know how we're going to do that, folks, but we'll figure out a way in City Hall. We'll figure out a way. One thing we lost in the Lower Hage when we lost the Vapor Room was a good neighbor. Yeah. This was an, um, a cannabis dispensary uh, who not only provided medicine to the community, but who gave counseling service, who gave to uh, charitable organizations, 
who provided public safety, eyes on the street there in the, in the neighborhood. Hope Net did the same. They had veteran services. They had social services. These are communities, folks. And when they break up these cannabis dispensaries, they're breaking up a community. And that's one of the huge tragedies. That's one of the big losses when we see these um, folks go away. So finally, I want to say that I remain committed to protecting patients' safe access to medical cannabis. And I stand strong behind San Francisco Medica Medical Cannabis Program. I'll work hard to see that our displaced facilities remain, remain open. Right. An attack on our permitted facilities is a direct attack on our patients. And prohibition, President Obama, enough is enough. Woo! If you can go into Afghanistan and blow up people there and go into other parts of the world and, and show all this force, then why, can't, why do you have to show this type of force against a community in need here in your own country? It's absolutely insane, and we can't let this go on. So I do hope that President Obama shows some compassion to the people here in San Francisco and to people throughout this country. All people need is their medicine. They need to be able to go through their daily activities and, and, and live in a healthy manner. So to that end, I hope that our president is able to show us some compassion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Without further ado, I would like to uh, introduce Assembly Member Tom Amiato. Let's see if we can get a better shot here for you. We got a bunch of media here, so I don't want to get into this angle. There we are. Yeah. Strange iPad, eh? Yeah. Okay. Now I got it. Yes. Yes. Well, I want to offer my condolences to Melissa Haig. I'm sorry that house fell on her sister. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, it's an important election year. We don't want the Republicans to win. But somehow the Department uh, of Justice, the IRS, and our U.S. attorneys are uh, harming Obama's chances of winning. I know that this area is considered safe. However, what I'm afraid of is that people will stay home because we're so pissed off at the double messaging that Mr. Holder has done. Uh, we met with uh, uh, Melissa Haig, and uh, she pretends to be, uh, what's her, Melinda? Melinda Haig. Melinda Haig, yeah. Uh, you know, she's very disconnected. This isn't Mayberry. This is a constituency that is enlightened. This is a constituency that wants the U.S. Attorney to go after foreclosures and the displacement of poor people. This is a constituency that wants a U.S. Attorney to address issues of immigration, uh, not uh, go after the issue of medical marijuana, which has stood up to, what, uh, three court challenges. So it's a distraction. It's an orchestration. Uh, but we really do need to hold the Obama administration uh, responsible. I'm not telling you not to vote for him. I am voting for him. But we need to be a voice in reshaping what's come down in the past few months. Um, uh, in Germany, they used to have something called the Stasi, you know, and they would listen to people and uh, try to uh, uh, be the thought police. Well, that's what I'm feeling about what the U.S. attorneys are doing uh, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, raiding uh, uh, honorable businesses uh, who pay their taxes, uh, empowering cartels and people who deal with violence by uh, looking at this issue uh, with a uh, with a, a, a buzz saw rather than a scalpel. I'm trying to do my best in Sacramento. Yes. I think yes. we really we uh, we really need to we really need to have some kind of uh, 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 regulations that address state issues. Uh, we need to excite our our. Uh, uh, reluctant legislators, some who do not know that polling for medical marijuana, particularly in their districts, whether it's uh, Fresno or San Bernardino, is 80 percent, 80 percent. 
and we need to activate those constituencies as well. So uh, what I say to you is, uh, yes, we cannabis. This is a really, really important issue because uh, uh, if they can do that to us, if they can do that to honest dispensaries holding up the populist law of California, then they can do it to anybody, and we are not going to allow them. Call the dogs off. Right, that was Tom Aliano, Assembly State Assemblyman from San Francisco. Okay, I'm going to actually turn this over to somebody that we all know and love and are in mourning for today. Um, Kathy Smith, one of the directors of the Hope Net Cooperative who had to shut their doors yesterday. Please hold on to Kathy. Kathy Smith. You know, it's really great to see everybody here and everybody out here. But you know what we need to do? Everybody that's here needs to go up to this evil woman's office tomorrow and tell them what they think. You need to get your friends up there. Your parents, your kids, everybody needs to go up to this evil woman's office and tell them what she, what we think. It's the only way that's going to work. We can yell and scream all we want down here, but until we go up there and make a, a bother of ourselves, I just don't see any other way. In a peaceful way, of course. Yes, in a peaceful way, of course. I think it's really wonderful at the turnout that came out today, and I'm just so sad that they've taken away our safe access here in San Francisco. I never thought I'd see this day happen. Keep me alive. What's going on? Uh, I just don't know what to say except for thank you for all the years that everybody's given me. And, and you know what? I mean, you know what I'd like you all to do? You know what I'd like you all to do is vote for OG Kush for president. <laughs> because Obama is not president. He needs to make his troops get in line. He needs to make them behave. He is the commander in chief. He needs to tell Melinda Hague to back the fuck off. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to offer that. Losing the support. Okay. Obama made a statement in 2009. Dale? We're here wrapping up the March. Dale, not Next, I'm going to have Dale from California Medical Safety Works, who is also one of the co authors of our original medical cannabis law here in California, Prop 215. Oh, Dale Dale's usually never at a loss for words. All right, well, uh, huh, I would never have dreamed, what, 16 years ago when we passed Prop 215, that we would still be fighting with the federal government this far on. For the proposition that marijuana is medicine. That's right, it is medicine. That we have got not one single nod of recognition. Not only are we fighting here with the U.S. attorneys on the dispensary front, but as you know, the Department of Justice and the DEA just uh, 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 refused to uh, admit a rescheduling petition. They declared that marijuana is not medicine once again refuse to look at, it, at any of the evidence whatsoever. We have the Department of the Treasury coming down, trying to make it impossible for people to get bank accounts and credit accounts. We have the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms saying that medical marijuana patients can't have guns, while at the same time, they're giving guns away to Mexican narco traficantes. This local government... Oh, Oh, <laughs>
Sorry about that. Time to bring it back again. I Just come the mic up so you can hear. Tell Obama, keep your promise about medical marijuana. He said, quote, I'm not going to be using Justice Department resources Thank to you. try to circumvent the laws. You told me we're not going to take this anymore. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our, our final speaker today is also somebody we all know and love. Uh, it's Miss Steph Shear, the Executive Director of Americans for Safe Access, which has been one of our more in, most important advocacy groups here in the, Ameri in the United States of America, and who has been such a support and kind of a shining beacon of hope uh, for us here in San Francisco as we face these tragedies and, and the federal crackdown here. So, with that, please, uh, everybody, put your hands together for Steph Shear. Hello, everyone. You know what? We have to get together. We need to get together one day and have a party. But until then, I'm pretty sick of having to come together. Can you guys not argue behind me? Cool. <laughs> We need to all get on the same page, y'all. Yes, and that same page is that we need to tell Obama that he's either going to lose Hague or lose California. Let me hear you say it. Lose Hague or lose California. 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 I mean, you guys make some noise. She's way up there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we're going to move back to City Hall. You know what? It's freezing out here, folks. <laughs> I'm moving pretty quick. Hey, how's it going there, Steve? So we're going to go head over to City Hall. It's funny that the coldest spot around is right in front of the federal building, huh? Maybe it was on purpose. Off. I know, it's freezing here. Plus, there's winds going into the mic. <laughs> it's really windy. I'm freezing. Hey, 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 hey. The wind causes all kinds of hell around here. Anyway, we're going to get out of this hell, though. I got my engine back. It's in my ass. That's a human being behind me. I'm invaluable uh, like Dr. Spock, uh, son. I'm glad to get the hell away from that building, I gotta tell you. Yeah, really. Just uh, federal property. Oh, uh, it's cold. Alright. So we're back on the march again. Are we going to go back up to the vapor room? I don't think so. I'm not going back up to the vapor room. I'm going to stay down here. I'm going to go back home and where it's and put some pants on. Oh, what's tonight? Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, there's nothing going on tonight. I won't be live streaming any other events. Um, for those of you who are watching, um, I'm probably healthy enough now to actually get out almost every day and live stream an event for you. I'm glad you're enjoying our, our uh, webcast of, of the Safe Access, the March for Safe Access to Marijuana, Medical Marijuana. And to protest the closure uh, of Harborside, uh, Vapor Well, that's what's a, what we were talking about. Oh, okay. Yep, all the dispensaries. So we're glad you're here. We're going to get down a little ahead of the march just because uh, I'm in the chair here. Don't forget to log on to the social stream if you want to talk to me. You got any questions? I haven't gotten too many people on today, so. I think we do for viewers anyway. For a little bit. But we got a lot of viewers. I know we're on globalrev.tv, globalrevolution.tv. Right, hi everybody right. Else out out there, there in international. Yeah, right, we're on the big, we're on the big website. Hey. Yeah, sorry. The protest has obviously lost a little of its muster as they've now yeah. seemed yeah. content to mostly occupy yeah. the sidewalk. Yeah, well, it's cold too. It's definitely right. a lot cold. Everybody's. So yeah, the temperature's dropped 10 degrees since we started. Okay. It's such as living in San Francisco. And when the fog rolls in, it gets cold here. Right, I guess we could turn around and just get ahead. Stay ahead. I believe Oh, there's my bus. Oh, oh yeah. 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 No doubt. We got a lot of uh, potholes coming up. Ooh, boy, that was chilling. I'm glad I wore a heavier coat. Say yeah. I said I'm glad I wore a heavy coat at least. Again? I'm glad I wore a heavy oh. coat. Yeah, yeah. I'm not talking to you anyway. Watch out. All right. Yeah. I know. All right. People clearly yeah. support this. Yeah, we get a, get a lot of support from. I think the last time we ever had a vote on pot, it was like 79%. Yeah. Right. So. 12, so with 7% abstaining or something like that. It was ridiculous, but we always win here in San Francisco. Yeah, keeping the camera really still on this surface here. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, we're almost over here, though. 
one of the main places in the world that was behind the movement. To well, this is the birthplace of medical cannabis. Don't forget. That's another way of putting it. Right. This is the Capitol building right here. Now it's City Hall. Actually, you know, that's the second largest dome in the world. Is that right? Yeah. There's only one dome larger. That's the... Uh, the Vatican or something? Yeah, the St. Peter's Cathedral. It's just not as tall as the U.S. Capitol one. Not it's quite still as a beautiful tall. building, though. Isn't it? Oh, nonetheless, it's where I've been inside of it. It's gorgeous. Yeah. That way is the Piers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So then you get down to Market and then just walk all the way down. Yeah, right, we can stop. We can. We can stop. Like, how about it? Uh, yeah, nice, beautiful giant lotus flower in the wind there. And then watch for eight years of Michelle. That's, a break that's an art installation that's been put up as part of the Phantoms of Asia show at the Asian Art Museum. So I believe we're going to stay here for... Usual, the coffins come as right by us. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah pick a spot. Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. How you been? Doing okay? Yeah, me too. One day, one day things might be looking at him. Hey, Melody. Uh, that's true. Did Susan call you? No. I guess I told her to call you. She said she was going to call you. Where are we doing this? 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 Where I called you like a couple days ago. What are you talking about? Uh oh. Oh, uh, remember, you guys are going out to an international audience here. Yeah, don't you know you're going out live on the internet all over the world? All over the world. In that case, I'll whip you off! Exactly! <laughs> Show you my tattoo! Oh, I don't got one. Want to get I don't know what's going to happen with this. I think we got to set it on fire. Alright, we're good. Are we going to keep marching or what? What's going on with this? Should end up somewhere, huh? Uh, well, uh, 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 what are we doing here? Are we gonna stop? Hmm. That was, that oh, yeah. was a pretty good uh, turnout. That was a pretty good turnout. I believe the march is over by now. I'm going to sign off here in about five more minutes, I guess. I've been going for almost two hours. An hour and 45 minutes. Oh, what, and where were you uh, broadcasting that? Oh, at HTTP Ustream or whatever. Ustream.tv okay. slash channel slash Occupy San Francisco. Oh. And you know what? Your picture's right on the website. Oh. And I keep trying to show it to you. I know, and I'm an idiot. It'll be, it'll yeah. be like, when I see it, it'll be, oh, look what a young little whippersnapper I was. Yeah, and your doggy's in it, too. Excellent. Yeah, it's back when we piled all the fences up at the, oh, at, right, that's, that the was Occupy. Yeah, that was the day we won, right? We didn't win the next day, though, but we yeah. won that day. All right. Anyway, it doesn't look like there's going to be much more going on. So uh, now there's a bunch of right? motivated people. That was a real motivation. Yeah, it was definitely. I know. I know. Showed us that we still have some power. Yeah. Well, and there's a bunch of people that are still doing shit. Well, we're still doing shit. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw you going on that police march, which you know, Mikey, I wouldn't go on the one on one, one on one events. Anyway, I think we're going to end up here. This looks like it's it. Yeah. Since there's no cops, and it doesn't look like cops are going to be attacking anybody, I'm not as bound to stick it around until the end of the protest. Money. There's definitely no cops. Right. There's like there's there's none. one cop huh? all day. Yeah, okay. that's true. Well, that's because they know we're peaceful. Well, and they have no more budget for yeah. <laughs> the Occupy <laughs> right now. They're uh, plus my hands are getting cold. 150 cops. But my viewer, my my viewership keeps going up. Insane. And then they had them there like a day and a half. Yeah. People still yeah, it's kind of funny. People still people want, in, huh? Yeah, people still want to watch this. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Mikey, I do live streams almost every day now. I make it a point. Try to get the word out, the word out to the world about what's going on. You know. 
for her. I want to go home pretty soon. It's freezing. At the women's building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Occupy Forum. Um, I, I, I just started going last two weeks. Yeah, I heard it was pretty good this week. Yeah, yeah. It was last two weeks. The, well, last, I don't know. Last week there was more people just sitting there and introducing themselves for ten minutes. Right. And, and well, it's like it's, I mean, like it's cool, old. It, it's like blow hard, man. You know, we hear to do some work or just hitch our nuts. Yeah. And, uh, gotcha. You know. I once attended a marijuana strategy meeting oh. where that was all we did. And it took like an hour and a half, and then everyone was exhausted from it. Yeah. And then, yeah. like, the yeah. meeting's over. Yeah. You know, like, you yeah. assholes, we haven't done no, anything. Not, you know? I personally have too much ADD to, to go. See, I always show up after everybody introduces themselves. You have too much LSD? Day. Too much LSD. Uh, only on a good. You're never gonna have too much LSD. I don't know. I've seen some people. Some people. They had somebody try to sell me some the other day on the street. I almost bought it off of them, but I don't do acid anymore. I've done it too many times. Too, you know, a couple thousand times. It's not. You know, I got some new glasses too. Looking yeah. good. Yeah. Pretty see the dollar yeah. store. Oh, uh, they're just reading glasses. Okay. This, this way I'm only half blind. I got a number. I actually have a number for a program from the city that'll give you a pair of glasses. They'll go you in. Know, um, you just got to go in and get exam. They I'm do the whole. It. Well, uh, it's free. I know. But and it I'm works. Sure. I'm sure it does. And it is free. It's you remember Rick, the guy who used to push me around? I got him a pair of glasses. Cool. Yeah. I just, I, but I just, they do the complete eye check. I'm fucking disgusted with the whole even, even the shit that works, I, I can't stand it. You know? <laughs> I hear you. I could be on disability. I could be. Yeah, well, you should. You know, and I just, I, I keep this stuff. I don't want to. I hear you. Well, uh, viewers, I think I want to cut it off here at this point. My hands got a cramp in it, and I'm very cold. <laughs> but I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, geez, my next broadcast. You know, I don't know. Check my calendar at ustream.tv slash channel slash Occupy San Francisco. And I'll have a list of up upcoming events for you. Uh, I'm trying to think of what's coming up. There'll be something fun. I'm thinking about uh, going to a nightclub one night and doing some live streaming here. So, uh, yeah. So get a hold of me, Freeman Sullivan, at Gmail. Freeman Sullivan, F-R-E-E-M-A-N-S-U-L-L-I-V-A-N, at gmail.com. Or you can tweet me, 